everybody, it's Tamika. I'm here to do a start to finish uh, tutorial on how I made these Altered Heart clothespins. Super, super cute. These will be used in um, an April swap I'll be hosting here on YouTube, so stay tuned. Those of you who say you missed the swaps, there'll be one coming in April, so it's going to be super, super fun. Um, looking forward to it, but I was... Um, uh, making my samples for the swap and I thought that I would record um, a tutorial start to finish so in case you guys just wanted to do it you have this for reference so here's uh, the first one I made and they all are pretty much similar this one just says happy super super shimmery that's the clothespin you don't have to keep the clothespin because once we're done with the heart you you can leave it as is and just use it as an embellishment on its own this one says live cute love 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 it and this one says sing and this one says love so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you know what you'll need in order to complete this from start to finish so you need your glue gun and you'll need a, a heat tool mine have had better days but it still works and of course your glue gun so um, you also need for your base clothespins. I am using these clothespins by Createology, um, and it's the one and three quarters inch in length clothespins. They're like the short, stubby ones. Super cute wood color base, and I got these from Michaels. They were $3.99. Come in a pack of 18. So, and I used a 15% off coupon. Okay, so we'll need the clothespin. We'll need some white paint. Um, this is Craft Smart. You can use any white paint you have. You'll need two different paint, or you need a paintbrush, or you need two eventually, but you need two different paintbrushes, or use one because um, you're going to use one for white paint and one for your um, sparkly. So, or you can use one and just rinse it off, go back and forth. Totally up to you. Um, so, we have that, and then you'll need some adhesive spray using Elmer's Craft Bond Spray Adhesive. You need some glitter. I'm using Martha Stewart Crystal Fine Glitter. You'll need some wet glue. I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond. You need some shimmer. They can make your stuff all shimmery and shiny. Um, this is homemade uh, shimmer mist. I'll put the link in the description box for that tutorial. You'll need your heart base. This is cut out of poster board. You can use file folders, thick cardstock. You can use your um, die cutting machine or your um, electric cutter or punch, but just punch out a few um, to make a nice sturdy base. So if you can see here, that's how thick my base is going to be. This is how that looks. So you can make it thinner if you want, thicker, but I want them to be sturdy. So they're, if they're going to use them for embellishments, they won't be flimsy. I don't like that. So I cut out five and I use my Cameo machine to cut this heart out and then you'll need two cover pieces so whatever you're going to put on the front and back for paper um, so that this could be a complete embellishment even if you didn't want to put the clothespin on so a, a total we have seven hearts these are cut at one and a half inches you'll need some trim some tiny trim that'll fit on that heart I'm using this okay you'll need a scratch sheet of paper we're going to glue and sprinkle glitter on it so you can you can clean up your mess easier and then you'll need some flowers whatever you however you want to decorate your heart this I'm using flowers these are all wild look at craft small ro um, open roses two different sizes some hip rose buds and a miniature gardenia and just have that and then you'll need a bead this is, comes from the Michaels bin um, in the bead section okay so we'll have all that. I'm going to put this aside. We can get started. We're going to start with the clothespin first. So take out your clothespin and your paint and your paintbrush. Scratch sheet of paper. And then you'll need your heat tool. So um, make it super easy. I love using just a piece of cardstock that I may not ever use. And I don't like this green color. So I'm going to just tap a little bit of the paint on here get my paintbrush and then we are just going to dab and color this is the easiest I mean it's all super easy but the easiest part so 
And what makes it even better is I put my one coat and then I hit it with the heat tool for like five seconds and do it again. Okay, dry. Then I'll do another coat just because I like it super, super white. Flip over, do the other side. I'm gonna get the cracks because I really like my whole plan to be white. Hit it again. And when I did the clothes pins, I did all these at the same time so I wouldn't keep going back and forth, but it went a lot, a lot faster. You're done, front and back. So, yep, I get my sides, just lather that paint on really good. I don't like to do, if I, I like to have one side complete because I don't like to do two sides one time, then your fingerprints gets all on and just gets real messy. So, just leave one, just do it, take your time, do one side at a time. And this first side that I do, I always get the insides of here, make the whole thing white or whatever color you're choosing to do this with. Hit it with the tool. Okay, flip it over, do the same thing. Just be careful this um, little metal piece in there gets hot too. And then when I do the other side, I do the other side of the clothespin. I hope I'm on frame here, not moving too much. The top and the bottom. Here we go. This one a little bit more tricky because you got to hold the clothespin open. Try not to burn your fingers. All done. Super cute. I know a lot of people take theirs apart and do all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So there we go. Dry clothespin. Okay. Uh oh, making a mess here. So the next thing I'm going to do is spray this um, clothespin with the spray adhesive. Staying on my mat. Get my glitter ready to pour, to shake rather. So I'm going to hit it with the spray gun, just a little bit, and then put my glitter on top, let it sit. I usually wait like five seconds, let it air dry, and hit it with the heat tool, just a little bit. See? See? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Flip it over and do the other side. Just a little tap. Spray the glue, I mean the glitter. Hit it with the, zap it with the heat really quick. Boom, done. Glitter's not on my finger. Look how pretty it is. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to tap some of this off. Okay. So um, once you do that, I'm going to set this aside because we are done with the clothespin. All right. So while I have my little glue out, my um, paint out, uh -oh, I'll put another little dot here. Because I am going to, sorry, I keep moving the camera. I'm going to whitewash my color pieces for my heart. I'm going to take the same 
brush, dab it, and then lightly go over the top of my heart to water to tone down the colors so it can be more shabby. If you find that you put too much um, paint on it, you can just get a little thing of water, have a little thing of water by you, and then go over it with the water brush really quick. Just dip your brush in the water and go over it. And then heat it with the heat. Really quick. So there we go. We've toned those colors down, made them more shabbier. Okay, now we want to take, move this aside for now. We want to take our hearts that we cut for our chipboard base, or our, to make our faux chipboard, I guess. And then you want to grab your wet glue and then start layering and try to keep them you know I put it in between my finger and my thumb and just do the outside edges really quick line them up pack it on top make sure give it a good press boom you got two already done you just want to continue to do that you just want to make sure you get the outer edges really good so that they don't raise when you're giving it to someone and your stuff start peeling off, yeah, you don't want that to happen. Just make sure it's lined up. It'll dry while you're um, layering, so you don't have to sit and wait till it dries. Just want to make sure it's straight when you form it and get ready to do the second one or the layer on top. And so that's why I keep it in my hand like that. So I got a finger here and the two on that side. And then there's so make sure it's steady. And then the, the last base. Here. Okay. Sometimes I'll just sit it sit it down and just press press my palm on top of it to Make sure that if it's, um, whoops, I was a little sloppy on that one. Make sure that if it's warping or moving, I can keep it um, together. Keep it together. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do the top layer. And this glue dries fast, so that's why I like wet glue. Oh, let's do this little piece right there. And... Uh, Put that on top. This one I want to make sure I get it straight. Flip it over and do the back. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to grab grab a heavy object sit that on top for a quick moment in the meantime get out your trim and your flowers and your heat tool we're gonna do the top part and we're almost done okay <laughs> lovely 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 look how thick that is perfect edges not coming up and it's it's heavy okay not heavy but sturdy okay I'm gonna use pick my side and use that side I'm gonna do the same technique with the glitter on top of here because I really really like that shimmer on the on the heart just do a little bit just a quick shot okay and then I'm gonna get the Glitter, put it over the top just a little bit. And then I'm going to hit it with the tool 
heat tool. Okay, love it, love that base. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. Squirt it a bit, spray it a bit with the glitter, tap it, and heat tool. Super cute, right? Okay, so now I use, I'm gonna use this trim. I'm gonna try to scoot up a little bit here. Okay, and I just put my trim at an angle right there. I use three pieces, three of these little circle pieces. Super cute. Do that right there. <clears throat> my hot glue. So I'm at an angle here. Put my trim on. Curve it around. Boom, boom. Hope I was on film there. Okay, that's it for that. I'm gonna grab my miniature gardenia. And you want to grab your biggest flower. Prep that. I cut the tip off. Fold it up. If you don't like the leaves, take the leaf off. Um, and then my hip rosebud, I got two of them. So they come like that. You just want to alternate them so that they one is under the other. And then I'm twist the vine so that they stay that way. I'm not going to use it all, but I'm just going to use the top half. See, I want it just like that. I'll cut off the rest. Take this piece, this is going to go up here on this corner, just like that. And what I do is I put a tiny piece of glue on the bottoms right here, so like a circle, so that they stay in place just a tiny bit, so they can go where I want it to go, right there, hold it. That's that, and then add your flower here. I'm gonna add that right in the middle. No pop dot or anything, just a glob of glue in the circle. And then I'm gonna put it right there. Super cute. Actually, my leaf is gonna turn just a little bit. There we go. Just hold it. And then I have these two flowers. I was just seeing if I can put them both on there, but I definitely want to put this yellow flower in there. So that's going to go right in the crevice. Cut the stem off. And I'm going to put that right there. But I am going to take this leaf off. Too much leaves. Too much, too much. Yep, put that right there. I'm going to put my glue directly on this area. So I don't want to burn myself trying to put it on this flower. Stick it right there. Wait a second. Okay, I did have this little green one. I'm going to see if I can squeeze it somewhere because I think it's really cute. But sometimes you just can't make stuff happen. Sometimes you just gotta leave it be. But I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm gonna cut the stem off. Okay. Let's see if it'll fit down here. And look right. It does. It's cute. Or do I want this to stick out? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Until then, we're going to get a little bead. And I'm going to use Dance because this is a manufacturer error because Happy has some markings on it. Put some glue on the back of the bead. This is going to go right up here. 
super cute. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave this uh I'm gonna leave this little rosebud alone. It's just I can put it there, but yeah, it's too much. We'll just let that shine like that. Okay, so now you want to take your your um, shimmer and then your other paintbrush and then open it up because you don't want to spray it on everything. I'm just going to open it and stick my paintbrush in there. And then all I'm going to do is drag that shimmer across my flowers. And I soak it in really good because I love... Oops, I might want to be on camera for that. I soak it in really good because I love the shimmer effect. So, get inside my gardenia. This is the best technique with first tiny objects, but if you just want details without... Um, using so much of your sprays because you they spray everywhere you you just spraying the whole everything the table everything so look how shiny that is I don't know if you can see but not yet put the shimmer away and hit this with the heat tool just a little bit just to get it started I also like using it to hit it with the heat tool while it's drying is because it puffs out the flowers a lot too. Look how pretty that is. All the shimmer, all the shine on this heart. Okay, so you could leave it like this. Um, I'm just trying to move this out the way. You can leave it like that and put a, um, you can put a charm, hang a charm on it, punch a hole up here hanging on a charm or put a pop dot back here use it as an embellishment by itself super cute or you can get that gorgeous clothespin that you altered earlier a little dot there we go that gorgeous shimmery clothespin put it on there so I'm gonna add a dot of glue right down the center here and that's right there just like that just a line and then I want it to open down there, so I'm just going to line that up right there. Make sure I'm covering everything in the back. Yep. So, just press that down. I'm going to hit it with the heat tool a little bit more. So flowers are still wet. Wetter than I like to leave them right now. All right, so there you have it. Here's your clothespin. Super cute. Love, love, love it. So, so cute. So there's all the rest of them here. Uh, hopefully you guys like the tutorial and check the link. Check the link below in the description box so that you can see how to make your shimmer mist. I think that's all I said I was going to put down there. Um, that's it. Thanks guys so much for watching. Like this video if you like it and thank you guys. Bye.